Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dredge. So this will probably be our final episode. Um, so I did a little bit of research. I found out that there are actually two endings to the game. So we're going to try and get both of those today. Uh, but first things first, I found out that we have a little friend over here. So you undock next to an old rowboat. Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire, muttering to himself. You cautiously approach. It's the old mare. Did you, did you throw it back? What? The book. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Are you okay? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him, him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book, but something, something cloaked in fog followed it out. Right through the boat. Boom. The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands, still talking to the fire as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It said it was coming for our breath, that we wouldn't be needing it soon, and then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on the shore, and him still clutching that book. Throw it back, we cried as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely, it can still be undone. What book? Silver and crimson, the book, covered in her blood. You're not making any sense. Throw it back. The man closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper, she saw, she knows where it came from, where it, where it needs to go. Tell me more about this book. Silver and crimson, silver and crimson. He rocks back and forth, staring through the flames. What do you know about the fog? It cloaks that calamitous thing. It's evil, haven't you felt it? And what does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all that ruinous day. Ask her, beg her, tell her I... He trails off, his face collapsing in sorrow. So, who else do we know that has a mysterious book that uh, is connected to the fog? Maybe, I don't know, a collector of some sort? Strange, that. But anyways, um, I thought that, that was some cool context. So, from what I understand of the story, what happened was we had... A fisherman who got married, he ended up taking his wife out on excursions a lot. Um, she ended up, like, jinxing the boat because she kept something that was from the old name of the boat. Uh, he renamed the boat after her. And she kept something with the old name, which is bad luck. They ended up finding this book underwater when they were dredging. They brought that up, and that was, like, a cursed Cthulhu book and uh, she ended up dying and our collector seems to be the uh, seems to be the the person that was the captain of that boat he said that he's no longer welcome on the seas in a previous episode um, so we were like why doesn't he get the relics and he's like the sea no longer agrees with me but we're gonna start with the bad ending uh, what is it I am ready we must make one final voyage, this time I will be with you. Yeah, I'm still ready. Warning, you are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? Yeah, let's go for it. Warning, one more time, your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Are you sure you wish to continue? I sure do. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. All right, now our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. The collector is aboard your vessel. Is he? Oh, he's not in our cargo hold. All right, uh, okay. So we're stuck at 12.59 a.m., kind of a random time to be stuck on, but... Whoa! <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter if I actually take on damage right now anyways, but... As I blow out our engine. Alright. This is the spot. I think this is the spot where they found the book. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us, and where we can at last bring her back. Only here, and only because of what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one, frozen in time, he throws the pocket watch overboard. 
and tethered by chains in the deep, he throws the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more, he throws the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens, he slots the key into the lock of the music box, and lay the weary world to rest. He throws the music box overboard, its key left unturned. Unshackled. Oh? Cthulhu, is that you, friend? Oh, that's, um... That's the woman that was in the notes. Ho ho ho! Look at that big boy. Hello there, friend. <laughs> um <laughs> And that's the end. <laughs> Oh! Greater Mare was on fire, and the lighthouse is destroyed. They had talked about if the lighthouse ever went out, they didn't want to consider what the consequences would be because it was the last thing holding back the fog. Also, the like panic-inducing madness, um, it's all through the skies now, so... Good job, team. Fantastic game. I really enjoyed this. For being such a simple premise of, hey, it's a fishing game, uh, but, you know, things aren't quite as they should be. I had a lot of fun with it. And, I mean, obviously it's a very good game. People have been raving about this. Uh, but yeah, that was super fun. Good job, team. Also, fantastic soundtrack. Hmm. Alright, well, we have one more ending as well. Uh, I'm just enjoying the music for a moment, but then we can go ahead and jump straight in. Yeah. Man. Good music. Alright, so if we continue... I don't know where it's actually going to pick me up from. Ruined Mansion? What is it? I'm not ready. Okay, hold up. Jesus Christ. Oh no, my packed explosives. Oh well. Uh, so, the old mayor, in his madness, told us to go and talk to the lighthouse keeper. So, let's go and talk to her. What is it? Um, what do you know about the old mayor of Little Marrow? That's, he's, I try not to think about him, it's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engine sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. I mean, he's not gone, I literally just saw him. What do you know about the silver and crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. You're really asking me, after all this time, you know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on for her sake as well as yours. Take control, be rid of that thing once and for all. All right, and then, wait, hold up, I might have goofed it, um, because I think I'm supposed to have the book, but I, um, all right, give me one second, uh, I'm definitely not going to be looking up what to do for this ending, so I will be right back. Alright, I came back and talked to the collector, and now we have this option rather than just I'm ready, so. Tell me more about that book of yours. Which book? This one here? With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of histories of the Grey Isles, it's quite a chore. Don't play dumb, you know which book I mean. Play dumb, your hypocrisy is wearying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Go ahead, ask us. Where'd you get it? Sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So is she. Who? You wanted to forget. Begged me. 
the room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? I'm taking the book. You strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. Yeah, so all this time we've actually been the collector. You're pathetic. The book of the deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. Find her last relic, and we can undo everything. Undo what you did. Well, I saw what undoing what we did did. To bring her back, we apparently have to summon Cthulhu. Um, and I don't think that's our best course of option, to be honest. So, if I talk to the lighthouse keeper again, I have the book. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now is the time to act. I mean, yes, technically I have had the book the whole time. I'm just apparently a little bonkers. Do you still remember where it happened in that gloomy darkness behind the bay? When you are ready, I'll point the way. I'm ready. Warning, you are entering the final phase of the game. Yep. I understand. Not gonna save anymore. We must wait until night is thickest until the ocean is as it was all those years ago. Why were they dredging at like 12.59, 1 a.m. anyways? It's time. I'll point the way. Follow my light. Go and do what's right for her. Throw it back. Like, I just don't understand, uh... <laughs> Ooh, don't slam into rocks. I mean, okay, I know I've dredged multiple times for game purposes, but, like, in a real-life scenario, I don't think it's the smartest idea to be out at 1 a.m. in the morning dredging. Hey, at least our trusty trawl net is still going. Alright, so this is kind of a secret ending, slash from what I understand it's supposed to be the good ending. This is the place. The book struggles in your grasp, its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back. You hold it high above your head, a low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. Throw it back. You throw it into the foaming water. Yeet. killed our boat. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello there, sir. Gosh. But hey, the Aurora Borealis showed up. Is the fog gone now? Because the book is what was causing the fog. Thank you, Black Salt Games. Look, the fog cleared up. You can actually see more than 10 feet out. And the town lives on. Man, that was a really good game. Uh, had a lot of fun with it. It was short, I will say, but I think worth every single penny, you know, for how much it cost versus how much fun I had with it, I'd say it was a pretty good deal. And hey, I mean, we saved the world, you know, we didn't unleash Cthulhu or whatever the heck that thing was. Our wife is still dead, but at least we got to join her in the end. Plus, we got to listen to this beautiful orchestral number. So, I'd say a win-win. Um, I don't actually think there's anything else. I could be mistaken, but yeah, it just takes us back to the main menu. So yeah, overall, I would say a fantastic game. I had a lot of fun with it. I hope you all had fun watching it. Um, it's been a journey. It's been a, a bit of a dredge, as you might say. Don't think I used that properly, but I'll stick with it anyways. <laughs>
anyways with that we are going to go ahead and end the video here um go ahead and leave me some suggestions on games that you might want to see i do plan on finishing resident evil 4 once i'm back uh from my family business but after that i mean we've got lots of options of what we can play so if you have anything you're interested in let me know with that though i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to like and subscribe go and tell your friends family go and tell your granny that you wanted to check out my videos and we'll all have fun together all right have a good one everybody bye all right a little bit of a bonus scene here but i did just want to see real fast what actually happens if you uh go off of the map i haven't tried it yet but there's a lot of ocean but we're already pretty darn far out so is this like our safety range this do we have an invisible wall sort of situation going on here so i'll go ahead and fast forward this and we'll see what happens Oh, it's our friend. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright, he got us. Alright, your ship is dashed to pieces, you slip beneath the surface and join the uncountable souls lost in the depths. And with that, we call our adventure in Dredge to an end. Alright, have a good one everybody. And I will see you all next time for whatever we get up to. Bye.